Welcome to ATDC 1 Minute Video Tips. This video series is composed of different tips on service procedures, machine operation as well as maintenance procedures that will surely help you in handling your Komatsu machines. Disclaimer, this video serves as an additional guide and should not be used in replacement of the Komatsu shop manuals and operator and maintenance manual or OMM. For the complete procedures, please always refer to the Komatsu manual, as mentioned. Vacuuming of Hydraulic Tank When doing machine maintenance such as removing hoses and pipes and other hydraulic related components. Hydraulic oil spillage usually happens while disassembly assembly and replacement of the new part. To prevent oil spillage from happening, one of the effective ways to do is to introduce vacuum pressure in the hydraulic tank. Vacuuming Procedures for Hydraulic Tank First park the machine on a level ground. Second remove breather of hydraulic tank. Install the special fitting into the breather hole. Connect one side of the hose to the fitting and the other side to the port of the vacuum pump. Next run the vacuum pump around 5 minutes for the negative pressure to build up. Then remove the selected hydraulic related components carefully. Keeping in mind that oil may still come out during this time. PPC solenoid valve and temperature sensor were removed without any oil coming out. If vacuum pump is not available, an alternative way is to use the car's vacuum brake. Remove the hose of the vacuum brake and connect the hose leading to the hydraulic tank breather port. The car should be running to accumulate vacuum pressure. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more video updates.